we're a country that um, has a has a good history of uh, uh, advancing equality rights, priding ourselves on human rights, and uh, you know I, I I think this is one area where we have fallen behind, but I, I know we can rectify it. Of course, as it stands now, I think we're trailing countries like. Rwanda, Iraq, <laughs> Afghanistan. So there's definitely uh, some ground to be made up. Did you ever think when you sort of, you know, were becoming more politically aware that going into politics for a woman might be considered an odd career choice? Well, I had, I had been involved in movement politics for some time, so when I had kids it became painfully obvious that the need of young families for, for child care and I became active in the child care movement. Um, over time I became involved in the environmental movement and uh, I, I ended up choosing a, a non-traditional job because I became a labor negotiator and uh, in, a, in a very male-dominated union and so that was a very non-traditional job but it was a good uh, leadership training ground because it allowed me to learn a lot of skills. So I'm not trying to be facetious here but you hear a lot about the old boys club up in Ottawa. Is there at all an old girls club? <laughs> uh, well there certainly are a number of women who've been elected for, for several years sure. and um, uh, but you know I look at, uh, I look at our caucus today and there's a young activist girls and boys club that is changing the face of parliament and I think is going to make its mark on Canadian politics for decades to come. As a student, were you ever involved in student council or anything like that? I sure was. I sure was, actually. Yeah, I was really involved um, uh, through high school, uh, a number of different clubs and so on, and uh, community organizations and volunteering, things like Ontario Students Against Impaired Driving, and um, serving on the student council in high school for a little bit, and then in university. To be sure, just about everyone that was in politics was male. Mm -hmm. And I'd helped out on a number of campaigns and uh, had friends uh, that ran and, and they were all male um, but by the same at the same time um, there were women Sri Lanka had elected the first um, female uh, leader India had a female leader uh, the Margaret Thatcher of course when I was in university first year university uh, Canada had uh, our first female prime minister albeit for a very short period of time um, but there were women in leadership roles I think women are notoriously strong multitaskers and were determined and and, um, and we're organized. <laughs> of course, of course. Do you think that women are held to a different standard in politics than men? You know, that, that's, a, that's an interesting question. Um, I think it's very notable when there's a female involved in politics. And so when she makes a statement, or she takes a certain action, or she um, takes a position on a public policy matter, it's very memorable. And you are held to account for a very long period of time uh, for that statement, or for that action, or for that position. And I suppose our final question of the day, um, any young female viewers that might be watching this, do you have any words of wisdom for them if they want to go into politics? Yeah, work hard, dream big, and, uh, and jump in. Can't wait to see you do wonderful, great, big things.